Um, so a couple of uh, a couple of real quick ones. Um, okay, let's start with this one. It's really quick. Okay, so this is an example. You've got a family uh, and you open it up and you've got a parameter in there um, and you can't change it um, to uh, instance because by default it's kind of hard coded. Uh, what can you do with it? Uh, very simply, don't forget this, you can just select the parameter and then you can click the instance checkbox up there, it'll work vice versa and then it's now a instance parameter. There used to be some, um, some other workarounds previously but uh, this is the kind of fastest and easiest way to do it. What's that one? It's nice and quick for you. Okay, painting uh, painting surfaces using parameters. Uh, so we've got a lovely um, reception desk here. Uh, we've got two parameters that we've created, and what we want to do is we want to actually have a finish, a different finish on one of the faces. So what we've done is uh, we've created the material, and you can see that we've actually got a parameter there that appears in our um, materials list, and we can actually paint that onto the surface, which I've just done uh, very quickly. Once you've done that you then have uh, the material painted onto the surface. Um, the benefit of that is you don't have to worry about um, creating additional geometry uh, and, um, and then applying finishes to that. So it's, it's a nice, neat way of creating um, furniture or uh, doors, for example, where you have uh, different uh, finishes on each, on each side of the leaf. Okay, um, so in this example we have a roof parapet, um, or we've got two roof parapets for this particular roof. Um, they follow the line of the, the roof pitch. Uh, how would you go about doing this? You could do this as an in-place component if you really wanted to, um, where you're sweeping it along. But we have another option where we can use roof by extrusion. And then uh, we'll pick the plane which will be on the face of one of the walls. We will very quickly trace over the, the line work of the edges. We just create uh, using a particular roof style. Nothing particular fancy there. So we're just using a regular roof by extrusion here, um, but and now we're just going to use the um, vertical opening to actually cut out the middle section of this, which will then uh, create our uh, roof parapet, or seemingly to create our roof parapet. Um, it's quite handy this way because it, it make, ensures the parapets align across uh, the front of your building, um, and uh, it, it works quite works well. So it's a quite a niche um, application now. Uh, final one, uh, curtain wall offsets. Uh, so this, this is one that we've um, I've done previously before. Um, we have a, um, a component, typically like a door or a, um, a, a window within the curtain wall. You want to move it within, um, you want to be able to move it within the uh, curtain wall so you can um, sort the placement out instead of having to kind of move it every single time. So what we've done is uh, we've created uh, three sets of parameters. We've got an uh, offset parameter. Um, now this normally can't be uh, plus or uh, this can't be a negative one if you're using dimensions. So instead of using formulas, um, creating these uh, two formulas that we're going to use. Uh, so it basically it's uh, using if statements. Uh, so the offset if it's a positive value. Uh, then it will essentially put it into the positive one uh, and the other one will become not, uh, essentially just like that. So the, uh, the absolute offset will essentially turn a negative value into a positive value, uh, which is something that can be used for something that's used in a negative uh, uh, the dimension that we'll demonstrate in a second.
Okay, so the next thing is to just set up some dimensions. Obviously, you can't use negative dimensions, or you can't have negative values applied to dimensions. Um, so what we do is uh, we have one either side of the, the plane that you're going to use, uh, and you set them up similar to this. Um, you might have to kind of play around with it. One becomes your uh, negative offset value, which will either be a positive number or zero, and then the other one will be a positive value, which again will be either a zero if it's a negative uh, offset, uh, and then uh, so it allows you to move it in either direction. That's quite handy, um, you use that quite a lot for things like curtain walling, um, so you can push it that way, or you can, you can now input the negative values as well, which will move it the other way as well. So, especially useful <coughs> for, um, for doors and etc. for curtain walling. Uh, it, it allows your content to be um, extremely versatile in um, lots of different scenarios. That's right.